Hello YouTubers, sign 543 in the hey -o. Anyway, today I went out window shopping for Christmas, except you know I can't think of anyone in my family who needs windows. Well, except for my mom, I'm sure a window could spruce up that cell of hers. The store had some spruce trees, but they didn't have any spruce windows, I asked. So I just said I'd, you know, take my business elsewhere. And by business, I mean I had to go to the bathroom and they didn't have one in the store. Later, I stopped at Target and asked if they had windows. And they did. Windows Vista, I think they called it. But the weird thing is you need a computer to install it. Whoever heard of installing a window with a computer, idiots. But I bought three just in case, you know, and then I left. By that time, the traffic had gotten like really, really bad. I mean, it was like bumper to bumper. I was like so mad that I just leaned on my horn and I yelled at the guy in front of me. And it worked. No, it didn't. The bus driver just yelled at me and said I had to get back to my seat. Which was not good because that weird guy was sitting next to me wearing that weird costume. Okay, it was just Santa, but he did smell funny. I mean, he like really creeped me out. And I told him so too. Actually, I just asked him in that weird story the night before Christmas, why does it say that he puts his finger aside of his nose before he goes up the chimney? I mean, what the hell is that about? He just ignored me, which is why, of course, I yanked that fake beard right off of him. No, no, I didn't. But I tried three times. He says it wasn't fake, but I'm telling you it was. It was glued on tight though. I yanked and yanked. But anyway, back to the shopping. I bought some really nice presents for my son for Christmas. He's gonna be so surprised. Like a carburetor. Shh, don't tell him. It was absolutely beautiful. The first time I saw it, I wept. I cried. I rent my clothes. No, seriously, I do. I rent my clothes. By the week, there's a little place down the road. Not the hat though. That's least. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that a carburetor is not a good present for my son. But is this your kid? No. He will absolutely love it. I know. And anyway, the cars were making really strange noises, so you know, he'll get some good use out of it. I remember when I was eight years old and my dad bought me a muffler for Christmas. I just absolutely loved it. Okay, no, I didn't. I cried and cried and cried, but the point is, they do not make cars the way they used to. Ooh, guess what we're watching tonight on TV. You're the, 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 the Grinch. <laughs>